We just had the cutest experience ever. We're now leaving Lovina to head to Aling Aling. We have arrived to Aling Aling waterfall. We're walking to the waterfall right now. What we noticed in the north was that whatever waterfall you go to, you have to take a local guide. And then the ticket is 10 times higher than usually. Today was the same story. They said, yeah, there is a medium trekking, uh, a short one, medium and long one, and you need a local guide and the same, it costs like 250 each for medium trekking. And we were like, okay, but we don't really want that. Uh, we don't need a local guide. And he was like, yeah, you can actually, I was like, how much then does it cost? And he was like, 20 each, which is the regular price of an entry to a waterfall. So we actually, spared about 230 um, yeah but he said that we are not allowed to swim to use like any of those slides or something so we're curious if that's true or not we're going now down It's true that without a guide you cannot jump or use any of the slides, which is kind of a bummer. There is no way to buy your ticket for the fun park down here, so get your ticket at the entrance. This was a uh, Ling Ling waterfall and it's actually one of my favorite waterfalls. Uh, I think the activities you can do here are pretty cool, uh, like the jumping into the water um, and swimming uh, in, the, in the few waterfalls in the front. I think that's pretty cool. I love it. The fun park is so nice. So if you go to Aling Aling, do the trekking, do the fun park. It's totally worth it. Now we are heading to the Kapura Bali Handara Kosado Cake. We decided not to stop. In We're actually in front of Handura Gate or Handara Gate and there are way too many people so we're gonna come tomorrow and between 6 and 7 a.m. where it's usually empty and now we're going to the water temple so we just arrived at the Uru Danu Biratan temple uh, in the north of Bali and we're going in thank you bye bye so the tickets are 75,000 per person. Very that's fine. Yeah, that's okay. That's really fine. It's cheaper than a waterfall trekking. Yes. My happiness. Interestingly, we didn't need a Sharon. The Pura Beratan temple um, has actually been here since 1633 and the lake that it has built, been built on serves the whole region with water, which I find pretty cool. The heart of the temple, so pretty. Many locals, many, many locals. And now we're gonna show you the highlights of this temple. You won't believe it, it's beautiful. Look at that. That's pretty, that's amazing and cool. Um, 2019 you used to be able to um, take a boat until the temple, but it's, they just closed it, you can see. 
the borders. It's always cloudy here and with the mountains in the background is amazing. How do you like it? Still the same like 2019, right? Yeah, nothing changed. Yes. Oh, next one, next one, stay. <laughs> we just had the cutest experience ever. There was a group of tourists from um, Sumatra and they all wanted to take pictures with us and he was like going for 15 minutes straight just picture picture of the picture and with me and with Fatma it was just crazy it was so nice and kind of stop smiling so we are finished here um, we're gonna head back to Shengu. We're gonna stop in Uput for some food and Then tomorrow we're gonna head out early to go to the gate and see the rest of the waterfalls It's not how it looks like yeah. You're gonna take him right. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my god. I got my SD card If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell